YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Shane coming back with another video. And today's video is gonna be on how to rank up as much as you can before or while you in boot camp. I noticed I never touched on that. Oh, I touched on it briefly. I think in one of the videos I touched on it briefly. But other than that, I never made like a video straight to it. So I didn't want to get too far out to where I was like, cause you know, obviously I ain't really making too many boot camp type videos no more. So I ain't want to get too far away from that. I'm gonna still drop y'all what y'all need for the boot camp. But I'm not gonna talk y'all here at all. We're gonna get straight into it. Now, none of these are in um, any order or anything like that. And before this, make sure you go grab my social medias up there. But look, one of the first and easiest, well, no, it's really not that easy, but one of the first ways um, is you can refer people to join. So I know you're probably thinking like, what? How am I gonna get somebody to join the military? I knew, is that what you're saying? That's how I didn't rank up from it because where I'm from, ain't nobody else trying to join the military like that. So if you can do it, usually I can give you some more information on it. So like, what you, what, let me give you a brief overview. All right, so basically, uh, you get somebody else that wanna join the Navy and then they sign saying you referred them and you fill out this paperwork. And depending on what they join for is whether you need to do more to get ranked up or that one might be enough. Like, so if it's like a special rate, like, like a nuke or like some special warfare stuff, they might just rank you up immediately from there. If not, you may need to like get other contracts of people to join. So hold on, I got this website that tells you. All right, so let me run through it and just tell you each one. So one enlisted contract, you get a letter of appreciation. So you don't get nothing ranked up for that. For one enlisted uh, nuclear field or naval, naval special, so basically, all right, so one of the nukes or um, or the SWIC or SEAL contract, you get an automatic ev advancement to E2. One officer ascension, you get automatic E2. Uh, then it goes down to two enlisted contracts, non-nuke or SWIC or special weapons, none of that type of stuff, is investment to E2. Two enlisted um, nukes or spec ops, advancement to E3. Two officers, you get E3. And for four enlisted contracts, regular, uh, is E3. Another way you could uh, rank up in boot camp is if you pass the initial PRT and you pass your initial depth test. So, of course, like the PRT, so your push ups, sit ups, and your run. Uh, the big thing that kill people in that is the run, so make sure you practice your run. And um, the depth test. I, 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 don't, I didn't pass my depth test. I don't think, yeah, I did it. Because I didn't study my start guide as hard as I should have. So that little guide that they give you. When you um when you go through maps and all that, your recruiter can give it to you also. Uh, make sure you hold on to that. Make sure you learn that. It's pretty easy. You got enough time on your hands while you're sitting back at home, probably. So just go ahead and knock, just memorize all that. Because I remember on the depth test, I remember it was asking me stuff. What caught me up was like the, like what does an officer wear on his dress blue uniform, you know, stuff like that. So make sure you study that. Another one before you go to boot camp is college credits. Uh, so enough college credits can get you advanced to uh, E2 or E3, and I'm gonna go ahead and read that off for you. If you have satisfactory- What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, I'm gonna try to skim through it for you. I'm getting a little tongue-tied or whatever. Maybe I need some some of this. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. All right, college credits. If you have satisfactorily completed 24 semester hours or 36 quarter hours of college credits, you may be enlisted. Yeah, you may be enlisted into pay grade E2. For those of you who have satisfactorily completed 48 semester hours or 72 quarter hours of college credits, you can be enlisted into pay grade E3. Depending on how many hours you have, whether you could be uh, advanced to E2 or to E3. So make sure you follow up on that and your recruiter should have all that stuff ready for you. But if not, always make sure you double check all your stuff. It's a lot of different things on here. I'm not gonna go into every, it's a lot of different different things on here to get ranked up for and all that. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have that, the, that link for this in the description. Uh, so you so you can check it out on your own. Getting into the actual boot camp, 10%, well, I don't know the exact number, but I believe it's around like 10% of the division uh, will get advanced to the next pay grade. So, but most of those people are gonna be like, your people that have leadership positions. Uh, so it's gonna be like your RPOC, your AROC, your Yeomans, um, and whoever else is good, honestly. I don't, it's a toss up between like the rest of the 
uh, Open Pop, the MA, uh, it's, it's a toss up between like head crew and all that type of stuff. But so if you want to get ranked up in boot camp, I suggest you, uh, I suggest you go and get yourself ladies in position. Like for me, I was uh, one of the yeomans, so that was my take on it. And I got advanced to E2 in boot camp for that. But I'm sure if you, even if you don't have a leadership position, which I don't understand why you wouldn't if you're trying to get ranked up, I'm sure like if you're like one of the main people that's assisting and like, you know, you leave your mark in your division, you probably get ranked up also. But if you're doing all that anyway, they'll probably ask you to be a leadership position because I didn't. At first I was laundry. I was like one of the laundry crew and I was satisfied with that. But I had good, hand, I always had good handwriting. So my RDC, first he asked me when to be a uh, starboard watch. The guy that, no, was it, I forgot, it's something, no, not starboard watch. I don't know what it was, I can't remember. But the guy that's always getting in trouble, man, I would, I do not suggest being starboard watch, man. You will get whooped all the time because that deck lock will always be messed up because everybody else do it. So, oh, and another good thing about the leadership positions, man, I didn't, I never stood watch. I never stood watching boot camp because I was leadership position. So everybody else be up all night, you know, standing they watch, but not me, not I. Uh, another one I have is academic excellence. Now this one is for the, the goody two shoes, you know, the smart people out there. That I'm smart, but I'm I'm not on that level or no. No, let me take that back. I'm smart as all of y'all, but I didn't. Um, put my mind to it as everybody else did when it came to the academic portion. I passed all my tests, I never failed anything, but I didn't exert myself to, to the level that other people did. But if you have the highest score on on the test throughout, uh, ugh, ugh. if you have the highest scores on the test throughout boot camp, but it's not just between your division, it's between the, your whole training group, so probably about 800 people. So the top of the top, uh, let's say, because honestly the top of the top is probably going to have, they go put all y'all going to have 100% on all three tests. So you're probably going, you probably never got any questions wrong. And I heard that um, at the end it's like a board to see like who actually wins because they get like meritori meritoriously advanced. Yeah, and they get, I think, and I think they get a little ribbon. I remember that. They got a ribbon and all that type of stuff. So when you hit the fleet, you look like you're smart. Well, you are smart. And this was just, you know, this was just a video to help out people coming into boot camp, stuff like that. I want to see all y'all do y'all best, man. I'm telling y'all, man, listen to my videos, man. I've, I honestly, I'm in here, like, I'm, I'm where you at, like, like I'm in the field with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be making a new uh, undesignated video, APAC, trying to teach, teach y'all the ropes around it if you picked it um stuff like that or just to avoid it because you know but we had, we'll say that for another video i want to thank y'all for staying tuned you know we got, got that 20k uh q a video coming up soon so if you didn't drop any comments or questions for that on my instagram hit me up on there or you can hit it on the, in the description not ugh, or you can hit it up on my video that i dropped for that and i hope y'all have a blessed day and i hope y'all stay official like a referee with a whistle let's get Hey, this for y'all. Hey, this for all of y'all that stayed tuned. Not everybody else that clicked out the video. This for y'all.